So again, guys, this is uh, Series 1, the 72 card hanger packs. Figured I'd take a look at uh, how, uh, what the array was inside of these. I basically just went to Walmart and bought $100 worth of one of each of these different styles of packaging so I could see, mostly, mostly to see and show you guys exactly what's in each box, what give you an idea of what you can get in each box. It looks like these are... Uh, look inside the box that they're all the way down at the bottom but I wanted the uh, odds as well for each different package and then when once you get the odds for all the different packages that they make then you can kind of have an idea of how many total cards they made and there's an insert right there on the back Wilson Contreras 80, 87 tops there's your fancy uh, high-tech alarm strip magnetic metal strip that gets picked up by the sensors Some of the outer cards do take dings on the corner, especially when they get when they get separated like that. These outer these outer cards take the most damage to them when they get tossed around. But these look like they were tucked in there. Let me open this up. This package looked like it was tucked in there nice enough to where, and there was a little bit of a space on each side of it, on each side to kind of keep from the cards getting damaged too much and the box doesn't have too many damages or too much damage on the corners real quick Pedro Stroke, Coco Crisp, Joey Votto, David Freese, John Gray, AJ Reed and you guys can see I mean you can see where the, the insert chunk kind of starts um, it was sliding there because the rainbow foils are much more slick but uh, AJ Reed, Josh Reddick, Edinson Volquez, Hector Rondon, Marcus Simeon, Josh Bell, rookie, Clay Buckholtz. We'll flip them. Dylan Batances, Jeff Hoffman, rookie card, Chris Davis, Lucas Duda, Ronaldo Lopez, rookie card, Johnny Giovatella. Uh, I noticed it, it stuck out to me. Johnny Giovatella's name is so long, in order to fit it on the line, they had to take the bold out of the font they had to use a narrow or an, a regular style font to be able to fit all the letters you can see the Ronaldo Lopez above it Lucas Duda you can see all those letters are a different size and after seeing so many cards with it like that and then you you hit one of these and it just looks weird you can see it right off the bat Johnny Giovatella Corey Vangenberg I believe it is Mookie Betts, Joey Votto, both league leaders, John Lester, league leader, Daniel Murphy, league leader, Albert Pujols, Chris Davis, both league leaders. This Corey Dickerson is an error card that is Logan Morrison in the photo. The only way to get the corrected version is the factory set. Uh, and you can you can confirm that, I believe, with Corey, Dicker, Corey Dickerson's uh, other, or Logan Morrison's base card. It's a landscape style photo where he's running around third base, I believe. And everybody that knows who Logan, Logan Morrison is is going to know how he looks. Steven Sousa Jr., Adam Wainwright, Jake Lamb, Carlos Beltran. That's the first chunk of base cards right there. Let's, uh, let's jump up here. And we'll flip these all around so I can just go right through them real fast. I wonder why... I wonder why they only put one insert card on the back of the pack instead of leaving them in the middle so they're protected. Doesn't make a lot of sense. Wilson Contreras with two L's in his name. Dansby Swanson, just a salute card. Similar to the Father's Day, Mother's Day, and the Jackie Robinson Day cards. Similar style. Annabelle Sanchez, Justin Verlander then and now. Wilson... Wilson Ramos, Joanna Cespedes, Chase Utley Gold, numbered 417 out of 2017, Chris Bryant, Terry Francona, and Hank Aaron Rediscover Tops, the generic background, or the generic back. Nomar Mazzara, Francisco Cervelli, Justin Turner, Tucker Barnhart, Jace Peterson, with Addison Russell sliding in the bottom, Pat Neshek, 
Brandon Geyer, Xander Bogarts, Madison Bumgarner, Alex Reyes, rookie, Philadelphia, uh, Phillies team. Be more boppers. This is the one of the checklist things again. All those nickname type cards like that, they're all checklists on the back. Which is odd. You would think that the team checklists, they would use those as an opportunity to separate out where all the cards are for the team. Because since they're not all put together like some of the past sets uh, for like Upper Deck, they would, uh, Upper Deck and uh, there were a couple other companies that would always organize them in teams and only a few of them would be off for trades. Uh, Jake Thompson, Jonathan Lucroy, Jesse Hahn. And I remember in the past, those uh, these 72-card hanger pack style boxes, a lot of these landscape photographs came in those boxes, and they all came together just like this one was. So I'm not really sure why they would do that, because the when you look at the overall setup, or the overall compilation of the set, there's really no reason to put a bunch of a certain style, card style, photograph style on there. Uh, Hector Neris, Mike Avilas, Joey Gallo, Blake, Smell, Blake Snell, Gregory Polanco, Corey Seager, Denard Spann, Wade Miley, Miguel Cabrera, Sean Manea, Miguel Sano, in the dugout saluting. I don't know if that's a photo variation or not. I don't think so. I think he's wearing a red jersey in his uh, variation. Carlos Santana, Rajai Davis, Chris Young, Jared Weaver, Paulo Orlando, Carlos Correa, and Joaquin Benoit. Alright, so out of the 72 cards, I'm really curious as to why that 87 Tops insert was on the very back of the pack. That, that's kind of puzzling to me when all the rest of them were in the middle. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten out of seventy-two, so slightly over one seventh. See?